So let's turn to social media right now. We asked and you delivered. We'll be giving us an idea of what it looks like where you are through videos and through photos posted to our Local 15 Facebook page and our Twitter page as well. So let's bring in Local 15 web content specialist Taryn Reed. You have some of those images, Taryn. I do, Pat. So I want to start with a very powerful video from Cantonment, Florida. That is just north of Pensacola. His, his car is floating right now. Don't float in my car. His car is floating right now. This video was posted to Facebook's Newswire page just a couple of hours ago. You can clearly see a car trying to make its way through the rising waters. At one point, it's floating, and all onlooker, onlookers can do is watch. The driver eventually stalls and gets out and wades to the sidewalk in waist-deep water. And here's another one from Facebook Newswire from Pensacola. You can see exactly what a flash flood is in this video with that rushing water. This was taken overnight. Now, now to some images. This was of the Circle K in Daphne. Thank you, Carly, for this. You can see it's heavily damaged from the wind and all that constant rain that we've had. Now let's head to the Tanger outlets in Foley. Check out all that flooding. The car's tires are nearly underwater. Thank you, Athena, for this photo. And Seth sent us this photo of his backyard in Daphne. It's raining and there's a lot of rushing water. Now to Midtown. Here's a photo of Shell Road Place. The rising water is almost pretty much to that porch. And then let's get another look at exactly how much water that is. This ruler shows that there are about 16 inches of water in this one particular location. And finally, let's head over to South Monterey Street in Midtown. The sidewalk just drowns under all of that water. So we've been following along with the hashtag ALWX on Twitter. That stands for Alabama Weather. And on Facebook, we've created an album to house all of your photos and videos you have been sending us. And if you are in a safe place and able to snap a photo or some video, go ahead and see it, shoot it, and then send it. There, also, there are several ways to get that content to us. That's all on your screen. You can see the complete storm coverage that uh, we've been having for the last two days on our website right now. Just check out local15tv.com. And we depend on all of our, all of our viewers because mm -hmm. you know, we can have cameras in uh, as many places as we can. Right. But uh, obviously with our viewers, mm -hmm. they're able to see it and send it with the uh, cell phone video these days. It's uh, pretty amazing it pictures. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Taryn.